I like in the uh, in the Israel Day Parade. Yeah. They have you have the pilots and the flight people. Yes, we do. We are uh, very much involved with the. We are very much involved with the Israel Parade every year, and we have in in El Al we have a group of uh, boys and girls which we call them the marchers, and they march wherever there is a big event in the world, and then doing it all on a volunteer basis. We just give them the tickets which they are entitled for anyway. But they come here and they march with Elal uniform, with Elal hats. We have pilots and cabin attendants and ground staff. Do they dance? They do. Dance? They dance, they yeah. Dance they dance aura, yeah. They sing Israeli songs while they're marching and they dance aura on the streets. And uh, it's a very, very great event. And people adore it. They're just waiting for the Elal marches to come by, which is nice. And when they see and the, the leader usually has a big plane and he holds it like a flag and it's, it's nice. So it goes the Elal plane and the march is behind him, which is great. Have you ever marched? Yes, of course. You march marched with yes, them? Yes, yes, of course. I have an Elal t-shirt on me and I march with them. Yeah, it's nice, beautiful, yeah. Mm -hmm. We love it. How do, how do you feel when you see the crowd reaction to Elal's marching? The, in general, everywhere you go in the United States, there is a very, very positive reaction to Elal. Jews and non-Jews. Almost everybody heard about Elal. And uh, they have heard, they have read, they've seen the Magen David flying all around the world and everybody has a warm feeling when they see the Magen David around the world and they, they love seeing us around. Yes. You probably get a lot of complaints typically, people contact you to complain. When you go to the parade though, you get uh, congratulations. First of all, the complaints have uh, been reducing in the last five or six years dramatically because we have uh, improved our level of service dramatically. I don't know if you flew with a lot lately, but we are we have changed completely the way we are recruiting our staff to to Elal. And it and it shows it has a very, very good and positive results. In the past we used to take kids that just came out of the army straight to be either cabin attendants or stewards. <coughs> and it was they were good kids, but you know when you come from the army you are very, very rough. So the amount of service was not what we expected. Today, to join Alal, you must be at least to prove that you've been working for two years in a service-oriented place, like an hotel or in a restaurant, even as a waiter or things like that. So you've been exposed to giving service for two years, and then we take you to work for Alal, and it, it, it has proved to be a very, very good. It has improved dramatically. Where do the pilots who fly come from? All of our pilots are from the Air Force, all of them without any exception. And they have many, many, many hours of flying time and they have a lot of experience before joining along. So it is very good. It's uh, very, very safe. You have uh, pilots that have been, some of them have been in the army for, you know, as a pilot, you must serve at least eight years in the army. You cannot just be three years in the army and go because the course itself is more, more than two years. And then you serve for another five or six years. So some of them come to us after 20 years in the Air Force. Some of us after 10 years in the Air Force, but all of them ex-Air Force. Are some still active uh, Milloween flyers? Definitely, yes. yes. Everybody. I was active until not long ago myself, but everybody in Israel is an active Milloween. Whatever job you do in your life, you're always active Milloween. And it's... What about uh, El Al for uh, non-Jewish travelers? Well, that's the reason we're here. We're here at NRB because a lot of people that support Israel, they want to support El Al as well. I mean, if we're supporting Israel, we want to fly with El Al. And uh, we have very good relationship with a lot of, uh, of course, Jewish federations and a lot of uh, pastors that are here and they want to fly with El Al. So we are just here to build and uh, reinforce the relationship that we have, which is very good. They fly with us a lot. We have, uh, there is a perception in the world that 90% of our customers and passengers are Jewish. But uh, now we have about at least 40% of our customers are non-Jewish. Especially from the United States. You have about 60% Jewish and about 40% non-Jewish that fly to Israel with us. And they all enjoy it. They love it. They love the security. They love the food. They love the service. And we also have, uh, we provide a very, very uh, good schedule of flights from, from the United States. We have a 
daily flights from uh, the East Coast, two to three flights a day from JFK, one flight a day from Newark, and we have flights direct from Los Angeles to Tel Aviv as well, on top of the Canada, the Toronto flight to Tel Aviv. So we have a variety of, uh, of uh, flights flying to Israel, and it answers a lot of their, their requests, which is good. You can fly at noon, you can fly in the afternoon, you can fly at night. So it's good. People love it, yeah. It's nice.